I have no political ambition. I just want to rest after being the first lady. Aisha Buhari, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The first lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buhari, has expressed a desire not to resume or take any political office after the tenure of her husband elapses, where she noted that she has nothing again to aspire after being privileged to become the first lady of a country. The wife of Muhammad Buhari, who spoke during an interview session, stressed the need for her to rest after holding the position of the first lady for eight years. Aisha Buhari, who described the position she finds herself in as a prizeless one, further added that it gladdens her, her. It gladdens her that after they leave office successfully and the position is taken by someone else, she will always remain as a former first lady of a country. She wrote, and I quote, I thank God for giving me the opportunity to be the first lady of Nigeria, and I think that position is such a private position. I do not have any political ambition because after that, I'm going to be the former first lady of Nigeria. What else am I looking for? I want to continue resting. She, however, gave a word of advice to any coming first lady of a country to never allow anyone to come and mortgage the administration, stressing also that she should always remain herself irrespective of the circumstances. Hmm. What is your opinion about this? Well, now so you suppose be you, if not be say greediness in this country. Even just like the president, even governor self. They are supposed to make it that you are not supposed to be coming out to contest after governor, you do senator, you see people that are doing senator for, for four years, for another four years, for another four years, organ only you then born. What's thing happen? Yes, you have the right to, but at, le at times, you know, whenever people hold on to power like that, and when you check them, they know they deliver no problem. Not that I'm saying she does not deliver. All. Anyway, I make a year with some people just to say. You are never a first lady point of correction. You are wife of the president. So say your husband. In a lack trouble. Who told you the rumors about the death of her husband? She came out boldly and pronounced herself as the first lady. I guess that was her demand to keep her mouth shut regarding the issue of her husband. Women in Nigeria are ashamed of you because there is no impact on the women. You are an instance. You are an instance first lady. Well, whether you like it or not, eh, there are some people, I have some people who still believe that, you know, the previous first lady, that is um, them patient, Jonathan, that she was actually more active. And they tell you that people, we have sat down and she was, people have been, she felt she has sympathy for the people, as in, she, 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 she was after the welfare of the people, most especially when that time the Chibor girls was kidnapped. She came out, she poured out her heart, but unfortunately, not only English, but that was my problem. In fact, a lot of people insulted her, but uh, she born, they don't give her a first lady with a bit speak English. The person is not carrying her as she used carrying her. So I love the way she gave one or two advice to the incoming, whoever at the end of the day becomes the first lady should make sure they stay true to themselves. Uh, there is nothing like, you know, you are a person of your word. You are not, you are not saying A and you are doing B. And uh, you should not allow, there is something that she said, said, let me quote her. Uh, never to allow anyone to come and mortgage. Hmm. A lot is under that statement. Mortgage the administration, stressing also that she should Always remain herself, irrespective of the circumstances. No change for anybody, and no allow anybody to intimidate you. All right, so in this news, we've come to the end of the news. You see, I say thank you for turning in to listen.